bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. If you're service-minded and want to give back to your own community, have we got an organization for you? Hello again and thanks for joining us. I'm Carla Showell Lee and you're watching Comcast Newsmakers. In the studio with me this hour is Regina Arrington. She's the ProServe Senior Corps member for City Year and today we're talking about giving back. Thanks so much for joining us, Regina. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thanks for having me. I wish I had <laughs> known about this organization when I was in school. I don't think it was even offered then. How long have you been around? Well, we've been, we originally started in 1988 in Boston. Okay. Um, we're an AmeriCorps program, but hmm. we've been around since then. This is actually our 20th year anniversary. Right. First of the year. And this is a national service. Yes, it's yeah. a national service, service organization. So we're in 19 sites, actually internationally. We have a site in South Africa as well. But we're located all across the country, from Boston to Miami to Los Angeles, New York. So yeah, and there's so many people like yourself, so many young people yes, who yes. always say, "I don't know what to do with my time," <laughs> and you say, "Hello, right? Come join us." Yes. Yeah. How many months are we talking? Well, this is a 10-month program. Mm -hmm. uh, we start. We typically start our year starts in September and it ends in June. Okay. So any time between there, it's like a typical school year because we work specifically with elementary, middle, and high school students. So that would be the time when it's most optimal for us to be in service. Right, and some of the things that you're actually asked to do, Regina, would be what? Well, we go into, like I said, elementary, middle, and high schools, and we do mentoring, we do after-school work, we do homework help, we, um, we go and do in-class tutoring sometimes, really whatever the teacher needs us to do to really help any students out that may be lagging behind, or maybe if they're students that are doing better, making sure they stay where they are. Right. Uh, we also do after-school programs, so like yeah. sports things. We right. have something called Project Peace where the students can do hip hop and really write their own music like and that. we have somebody who lets them go into studios and it's excellent. They yeah. love it. And if you're in that age group, the, the nice part about it is that you can do almost anything. Yes, you, know? you really can. Yeah. What was your, uh, I guess, decision as to why you wanted to join City Year? Well, I, went, I looked into AmeriCorps programs because we are an AmeriCorps program and I really wanted to work with students and be able to work with any kind of student. And I looked up on the internet, and for everything I put in, when we work with students, I had things with lots of ages. Uh -huh. I said, uh, maybe homework help, maybe tutoring, and everything came up that I wanted, and it was perfect. So mm -hmm. I came from Pittsburgh. And, right. I <laughs> and I read on the teleprompter, a pro-serve senior core member. What does yes. that mean? Uh, I'm actually coming back for my second term this time. I gave oh. 10 months last year, and I loved it. So I'm coming back for another 10 months. Ah, I yeah. like that. Yeah. And it's so nice when you can, you can do things for your community because it's so rewarding, would you say? Yes, it's yeah. great. Um, you could be walking down the street, getting on SEPTA, and somebody, you'll, you won't know the student or the young, the young person, and they'll be like, city year, city year. <laughs> yeah, I love and it. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think your symbol is very synonymous with the city. Yes. But you recruit from every place. I mean, you're yes. from Pittsburgh, right? I am from Pittsburgh, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. So, like I uh, we have people from Alaska. Yeah. We had people from Texas. So it's a nationwide thing. We want to get a diverse group of people in here, so from different economic backgrounds, different educational backgrounds, and different racial backgrounds and ethnicities to make sure we represent um, the kinds of students that we're going to be serving to mm -hmm. make it easier for us to connect with them. Right, of course. I mean, you want to see what looks like yourself, exactly. and that's so important. So how do you create that movement of diversity? How do you go out and recruit other people to do what it is that you do? We don't discriminate. We go anywhere we can. Um, we go to Center City, we go to the suburbs, uh -huh. we go to North Philadelphia, right. South Philadelphia. And then of course we have, like I said, national, if you go online, um, we get people from all over the country. So mm -hmm. we, we really try to go everywhere. We go to high schools, we go to colleges, we go to career fairs, so okay. anything we can do to find you. So if someone's teetering right now and they're thinking, oh, I might want to do what Regina's doing, mm -hmm. what would you say to them? I would say that City Air is probably the most rewarding experience I've ever had. Mm -hmm. Like I said, working with a diverse group of people, it's not common. Mm -hmm. It's really a, it's an advantage really because you're learning to work with different working styles and different educational styles and learning levels. Um, and also being in the community, mm -hmm. working hand, hand in hand with people, you, of course, you normally wouldn't work with because you may right. not see them in every day. Oh, so. Wonderful way to give back. Yes. Gina, I admire you. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. All right, this hour's newsmaker, Regina Arrington, ProServe Senior Corps member for City Year. I'm Carla Shoali for Comcast Newsmakers, an exclusive production of Comcast.